Hello everybody, it's Sci-Fi Hero, and we are back with more Sunless Sea. Darn it. As you can tell, I've done this in succession, and my speech impairment has not fixed itself. I'm so sorry for everyone. But, like we started off last time, we now have the co we now have a coffin, which will allow us to get into the laboratory's place where we gotta go. And, if you must know, I made a little bit of shopping. And, you know what? I'm actually going to take a little bit of a risk. We are going to go back to London, and we're going to try and find this uh, place. So that's the whole mission for this episode. We're going to go to London, we're going to restock, refuel, get all the good stuff we need, and then we're going to go and see if we can find this uh, was it, experiment island so that we can complete two missions at once. Because in this game, if you don't take risks and stay close to the point, you're not going to be able to do a lot. And that's one thing I found really early on. And the more you make sea adventures, the more farther you get, the more likely you're going to find something that helps you out later in the game and everything else. So, oh yeah, it's a big payoff doing this type of stuff. But like I said, first we have to make it back to port so that we can restock, refuel. We are currently gaining a lot, a lot of terror because we are going through a fog bank. But we are also really close to London at the same time, so good on us. Once we get home, we'll uh, get rid of some of this. We'll get rid of our terror, so that way we don't have to worry about it anymore. And we'll restock up on as much fuel as humanly possible because we are going to need it. Um. Hopefully, I hopefully uh, this place is where it was last time in one of my previous games. This maps change accordingly to plan. Sometimes the islands are farther away, maybe they're farther in, but I have a general idea of where it will be. And as soon as we get that general ideal area, that's where that's where actually where I'm gonna go and head. We're gonna search there first. So first off, we have to go wolf stock docks. Wolf stack docks. Fuel up. Nice. Uh, we have everything here. Bones of Fowler. We don't actually have another Z story. Perhaps we'll gain one. I read the morning paper. We can now have recent news. Uh, go back to say London. Continue. Emeraldi's office. We'll go here. Sell reports. Make some money and get some fuel. Then you know this alarming scholar. You know what? We'll get for this little item. We'll probably get one more of these somewhere along the line, but. Right now, this actually helps us out if we help her, and I really like helping the Antiquitarians around here. I think that's how you pronounce it, hopefully. Um, hire on more crew. We don't exactly need that at the moment. A uh, new recruit, we don't need that either. What we do need is to get rid of our terror. Lost five terror, we lost three e 30 echoes, great. We have one of this and another recent news. And we lost the free evening. And we were fortunate. Uh, the, that night in Wolfstock deck, you find yourself sharing a table with someone whose name you do not afterwards recall. You only love Z, you'll take comfort where you find it. Or likely less. Of course it's likely less. A few hours together. Oh, wait, she says this. Don't think I came down to the docks just to see you. I've got business here, alright. It did cross my mind that you might drop by. Oh, so she was actually coming down to see us. Uh, you lost 10 terror, nice. So we're now down to 14, which is wary, but still, we're good. We can do this. Ship and dry dock, we need fuel, but we don't have any. Darn. Sometimes you can press them for fuel and they'll give it to you, but that doesn't seem to be the case at the moment. Eh. I don't know what to do. Actually, I do know what to do. It's just going to be... Hard as hell. Um, no, we don't want to sell the engine, then we won't be able to move anywhere. Mm. Uh, mm. Sell fuel? No, sell supplies? It doesn't give us much, but it's something. Mm. Yeah. We might need them later. I'm gonna sell too much off. Damn it!
normally there's all sorts of stuff you can sell and such and make money off of him. We don't have anything for here because we never got that move of the great game. We don't have anything for him. Darn it. Okay, so looks like this is what we got. The shops. We'll buy as much fuel as we can. Hopefully 15 will get us through. We have seven supplies, so but yeah, we're gonna make a break for it. We're just gonna run it, gun it, to see what we can do. Hopefully this ends in a good note. But yeah, I promise you, we will find that place. Uh-huh. Hopefully. Hopefully. So we're gonna stop here. We're gonna pick up some stuff. Uh, maybe they'll sell us fuel for cheap. <gasps> That'd be awesome. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Stop in the dock and we're going to pick fuel. Flight ship, speak to the crew. They long for news at home. All right, we lost five Terra and we have one Z story. Oh, great. We now when we need to, when we sell something, we gain the Z story. Oh, just great. Well, nothing we can do about it. We'll find another memory at Distance Shore somewhere. But yeah, we'll just keep going, see what we can find. Gosh darn it. We're so close. Completing that one and getting the next step. But yeah, this is going to be pretty boring for the moment, but it also might be adventurous. You never know. These voyages all depend on different times. We're trying to make a break for it, so you never know what we're going to find. But at the same time, I'm also hoping we do find it. Gosh darn it. This is going to be a tough, close one, I can tell. We might not make it back to London on this episode. Um, compile a port report. Yes, that's that way. If we do make it back, we have money. Gather supplies. We don't need... Might as well. Yeah, alright, so we have seven supplies. That'll be good. We didn't really need it, but it's always good to have more on hand. Oh god. Discover the Phygenine Bleaks. Oh. Okay. I guess these, that's the name of these little islands. Hey, anyway, we're going to push forward. I'm praying to God that this is the right way. I'm hoping. Oh god. I hope this... I'm hoping the placement didn't change, because if it did change, then... I don't know where we're going to go. I mean... We could always try and go down the same area, but more than likely it's not going to be anywhere near the area where it was. And I pr I'm hoping here, I'm praying that it's not that case. Because from the way I understand it, if we keep going this way, we're going to come across the salt lions. Hopefully we come across the salt lions, but nope, it changed. It changed. Oh god. <laughs> Well, hopefully this is good. Hopefully. Okay, so... This should actually be higher up in... One of my other maps. Yeah, it changed. We're, we're fubbernucked. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll make a stop here, see what's going on, but... Oh, great. Uh, trade supplies. 20 echoes to be suppressed. The sister will pay us for our supplies. Nice. Uh, compel a port. Uh, likely be uneventful. Knock at the door, although you have no recent news. Watch the covenant, wait a while and see, offer a gift. Search surroundings, you can't be the first to come here. Uh, Cache, you follow tracks into a steep cave. Someone has stored food, supplies, ammunition. Can't be in London. These crates have a Conte look around them. Okay, so we have strategic information, torpedo components, supplies, and fuel. Okay. Ooh. We can't knock. We can knock, but they won't do anything. Uh, watch, see if what they give us. Nothing. Uh, we can pay, but that won't do anything. But other than that, that's all we can do here at the moment. Gosh. Mmm. So this kind of throws off my whole plans. So you see, over in this, these each little lateral lines, everything in that area shifts. And if I'm correct, then the island was always like a little bit below Abbey Rock. And I'm hoping that's the case on there. Otherwise, we're going to have to go up to Westergen's Fire. Oh, great. So. Let's get going. Please, please, please don't kill me off. I'm just a sailor on the big blue sea. I made a mistake and I'm gonna end up dead. 
Oh god help me, please don't let this end. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna kill this guy real fast. Boom! He's gonna rush us. Bang! That's all you can do? Boom! I take it your flesh is food. Oh, we can dissect it, or we can butcher it for supplies. We have enough supplies, let's just dissect it. Uh, we gain, we succeed, we gain 25 fragments, and we know a little bit more about these creatures. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, wait, is that it? That's it! Yes! We found it! We found a place! Yes! I was right! It was closer! Ah. Okay, so it's called Station 3. Not Island 3 or whatever. Okay, so this is where we need to go to actually uh, complete one of our uh, two of our quests, actually. Oh, hopefully, hopefully we get in there without any problems. Uh... Okay, so this was a big risk, but it paid off. See? If you don't push forward into the darkness, you're not going to really get far in this game. Alright, so... Station 3. Alright, let's go here. Deliver the Lord and Fluke and observe the students' experiments. That's what we need to do. He's terribly excited and requests your steadying presence to ensure he maintains the appropriate scientific detachment. After careful setup, the shed is empty, saving a writing desk and a gigantic mass of needles. The anxious student snaps off the tip of one and twirls it between his fingers. I hypothesize that the Lukes have a method of absorbing and storing our lived experiences. It follows, therefore, that there should be an existing means of transmitting, reliving that experience, like so. He stabs the needle through his palm, his eyes dull. You heard Captain Harris Zaylor target the Arcti and fire torpedoes, and if you hit one of the fl Lorn Flukes, then by God and Her Majesty, I will put you out of the airlock and let the spiny bastards take you. <laughs> he wakes from the reverie a moment later, beaming. That will do. Pass me your notes. I'll carry on the experiment from here. You witnessed history. We have two extraordinary implications. Ooh, those are really very, very a lot. Uh, train your telescope on sword might be good to get a look from a distance. Uh, church or something... Else, you stand on the high point of your ship to look ashore. There's a steeple building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks on top of it, not any symbol that you recognize. Uh, we can search the signs of a visitor, but that's a tough challenge. But we do have the long box, so let's go and use that. The only way past the wall is an unimposing sign, but sturdy looking. Triple locked gate, silvery metal. A sign beside it reads. Uh, sorry, I already read that twice. Wrong. Anyway, there's a very heavy gate, and there's a sign that reads deliveries. The gate stands open. We do have one of these, so we can enter. Make the delivery. Uh, there's cargo hold marked for his destination, a long, low, heavy box. It'll be fun getting it up the stairs, no doubt. Up a twisting scare tape. Case, there is a great deal of grumbling from the crew. The stairs are hard edged and wet. A box is heavy and its contents inclined to shift. After a few slips and a bad bruise to the shin, you resort to placing crew members along the stairs and handing the box along. There's a warehouse to at the top of the stairs, but it's not apparently a destination. Another sign points along a narrow path towards a building with a spire. Deliveries, it says more aggressively this time. Someone in the spired building is singing. The song sets your teeth on edge. Ooh. You have a long, heavy box wine path that runs a quarter mile through the mist. The crew that is beginning to mother about having to do land lover work. There is a warehouse just to your right, but the sign that says deliveries are to be taken onward. It says it rather empathetically, as a matter of fact. Send ahead to the building for extra hands. If they want the box themselves, they can do it. Break into the warehouse and leave the box there. Or we can do a... Which is low risk, because we have lots of veils. But we, or we can do a very chancy challenge. Um... Going to extra distance might mean you charge. You can charge more for your efforts. Let's do that. We failed. The path slipped along in line with mushrooms. Junior crew struggle with the box, but they get lumpier and more awkward. Mist gets into your clothes. The building with the spire looks far away than it did when you started on the path before. Oh, great. We failed. Condiac, one of the shadows moves. An Austria acolyte steps into light. She is covered head to foot in protective black. Her fingers thickly gloved and goggles perched on the top of her head. It's plain she's unimpressed by what she's seen of you so far. Delivery's up this past, he says, nodding towards the steep ability. I apologize for the form of your meeting. It says she helped bring, carry the boxes. We'll apologize. That's the gentlemanly thing to do. <laughs> and if anything, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers is a gentleman. <laughs> Who knows, she may be responsible for paying the delivery charges. Makes sense. 
That could have gotten better. You offer an apology. She listens, but indifferently. You are very nearly sure she is humming something faintly while you talk to her. Not much later, you're standing in the mist watching a parade of claymen. They hoist the boxes on their shoulders and march away, surprisingly quiet, towards the building with steeple. An Austrian acolyte leads them, uh, her lamp swinging on the chain. Followed because you haven't yet been paid, these folks seem disorganized. Who's to say they'll remember to bring you payment? Followed because you're curious, shipmen would appear to be something more other than provisions in the ordinary sense. Followed because the thing has got to your bones. Um... We haven't been paid, but we weren't expecting to be paid for us, so let's be curious. Thumping cargo. One of the claimants stumbles and its box slips from his shoulder. There's a sound of some... Uh, it's as though the sound of the sleeper's head inside has thumped against the lid, but no one wakes and the box is soon back into its position. There are many other boxes that are already stacked in rows three or four times as many as you have brought in. Another current room is a pile of wood from previous box already empty and dismantled. Singing to herself about mountain upholstered in velvet, she takes the crowbar to a box. The corpse inside is permanently dead, in a way that the dead of London often are not. Not a drowning, not a tomb colonist, but not coming back either. Looks pale and ornate except for a slight distension of the skin over the breaststone. Gently, the acolyte presses there and nods, singing about tulips embroidered with yellow flower, yellow floss. Slips by onto a marble slab without pause in her lyrics, she prepares a scalpel. Your presence does not seem to bother her. Don't watch, you can wait by a door. Watch with medical interest. Whenever she is about to do it, it seems to be anatomically informative. You've never heard this practice before. So let's just watch. I, we already failed one test. The Austria. The Stro Acolyte extracts deftly with very little blood a heart sized sphere of silver gray metal. With a giant nutcracker, she cracks a sphere and another sphere inside that and another. Finally, in the center, she comes to something heavy, small, and black. She lifts it out with tongs, looks at through her goggles. The song falters, but she manages to keep humming, though the words are lost. She puts the black and heavy thing into a jar marked with a word of the correspondence. She closes the jar and seals it with red wax. Finally, when the corpse is removed again, the marble slab wiped clean, she comes to pay you. Thank you, Sussens. Return another day. I may have something else for you. You've gained one secret, an occurrence. Your station three trading in long boxes quality is now three. You have two station. We've earned her favor. Oh, great. And we've lost our box, but still, we earned her favor. Nice. Oh, wait. The airport is open to you, although it's clear that your welcome is conditional. More secrets of the heart. Turn later. Okay, so we find any more long boxes. Uh, we can come here and sell them. Back to the docks. Aaron's for Acolyte, guarding the yard. She asks you to keep a watch on the damp dump where she throws away the stuff. Moss challenge. Lock went to the witchy. We don't have anything like that. Apparently because it's locked. This is Susan Cooper. She has a little jar of heart metal shavings. Bits too small to be rest reused for any other purpose. Picked out of the teeth of Nutcracker. A present. She is in search of new music to sing to, at her work. You can scramble together some songs and poems. Unlocked with that many fragments. Um, you have, along with two other fragments, a novel present. She is in search of new music to work. You could write some. A tough challenge. Your page's quality is 40% chance of succeeding. Let's wait on the present. I want to come back to that later. Um, let's make a visit to Susan Cooper. She has a little jar of heart milk, uh, boiling liquid. Sooth meets you at the door. Cooper is not home. Sooth has a cauldron on a boil array and in goes shavings. You wouldn't think they'd melt, but they go like butter, swirling into mix. Have them balled by tomorrow afternoon, she says, not looking up from her stirring. That's all for now. Ooh. Okay, so we come back here more. We'll learn more about this place, but that's pretty interesting. I never got this message, and that's something very, very fun about this game is no matter what path you take, you're always going to have a different adventure. Your seafaring is never going to be the same. So this is very interesting. I'm actually happy about this. And I think uh, this is actually where we're going to end the episode, right here on the island. Station 3, where we did a lot of stuff. So now that's done, we're, next episode, we're going to head back to London. Uh, we're going to hopefully find another, what do you call it, sea store or something like that, so we can continue on with our main ambition. But other than that, this has been a really fruitful adventure. And as always, 
everyone, have a good day. Subscribe, like, whatever, all that stuff. And uh, space out, everyone.